All right, everyone, welcome to the second episode of the COVID Tennis Bruise and Cruise podcast brought to you by, not really, but um, today we're drinking, I'm drinking a White Claw. And we're drinking High Noon. Sponsor us, please. I drank with these after I played for the last two weeks. Super good recovery from these drinks. Yes, we <laughs> love our self. Was your, is your seltzer or is yours? So mine's a, a vodka soda, pineapple flavor. What you got, Tom? Watermelon. Okay. Tangerine. Tangerine right. is the best claw flavor. And let's cheers. All right, cheers. Second episode. Our first guest. Okay, so our first guest on our series, as we should say, is our friend Tommy. Woo! Okay, so I've been friends with Tommy for maybe like four years or five years. Four or five years. And he's visiting us from another place that we're going to talk about here shortly. So... First of all, like JR and I did, we want to ask Tommy, how did you get started into tennis? Well, I always played sports. Growing up, it was baseball, basketball, mm -hmm. football, wrestling, and we always had tennis rackets just kind of laying in our storage closet where we had all kinds of sports equipment, two younger brothers, older sister, always playing sports. So tennis rackets were always around, and... I grew up in a tennis family. My grandmother played tennis at VBTCC. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, my, my aunt still plays tennis. My uncles play tennis. My mom played tennis. My younger brother, Jeffrey, plays tennis. So tennis was always around, but it was something I had to kind of just play it on the side. Yeah. I just, you know, I never really dedicated myself to it. It was always the other sports. What was your main one? Uh, baseball. Baseball? Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it wasn't until, you know, after high school when baseball kind of stopped. Yeah, and, you know, you pick up that tennis racket and you're like, yeah, this is actually kind of fun, you know. Uh, <laughs> but you didn't play in high school. I never played in high school, never even thought to play in high That's school. Really? He was, he was trash. That's why. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No. No. You didn't play in high school? No. Oh, no, shoot, no, no. dude. Okay. No. Because at your school, there was another dude that was just like you. He was a freak athlete, played basketball, every sport. Yeah, and tennis was the last thing. Yeah, and he was like a beast, just because natural athlete, you can play. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things I love about tennis, yeah, and dude. even to this day, I don't. I'm not, you'll know this, I'm not the most yeah. technically sound tennis player. Yeah. I never grew, I didn't grow up taking lessons. I just, I'm fast yeah. and I can move around. So yeah, it's, dude. it. I can be somewhat successful with it. Yeah. I think that's why I kind of liked it. I had yeah. immediate success with it. Yeah, it's and funny because the dude I was talking to you about, he's like, I was like, we're doing a uh, pod with, uh, with Tommy. And he was like, is his game still weird, but he can still ball? <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro, he's just still the same time. Oh, yeah. I'll be know. the first one to tell you I have the weirdest game <laughs> Everybody I play with will say the same thing. Yeah. I actually have a, a funny story about that. I'll tell you a little later. Yeah. But so you never took lessons or anything? No, I've taken lessons over the years um, as I've gotten more and more into tennis. And I've yeah. been kind of like disappointed that, damn, like why? <laughs> like I wish, I wish I knew how to hit a backhand correctly yeah, yeah, yeah. here. So I've, I've, I've reached out to some people. R Ramel, um, yeah. I've taken some lessons from. Um, My brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just interesting how everyone has a different path yeah, to the kind of the same this, ending, the, and, right? yeah. similar ending at and, least. But how, similar ending, but how all of us play pretty differently. Yeah. I mean, you play against the two of us very differently than we do. <laughs> um, but how old were you when you like started? So like for us, it was when we were like four or five, but how old were oh, you when yeah. you started? Oh yeah, I was probably 18, 19. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, you didn't play at all in before then? No. Just hitting around with friends, like no, yeah. I, just you know, dinking just around, dinking no around. idea what we were doing. Like Twenty minutes, get out there. And did your brother? Smack well, some balls your brother played by then. I would assume he played earlier than me. He started playing, I think, you know, earlier than high school because I know he played all throughout high school. Yeah, I didn't really pick up a tennis racket until later. Um, That's crazy. That's funny wild. story. My first, I, I picked up a tennis racket. It was the U.S. Open. I, I couldn't play the U.S. Open. <laughs> no, 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 you know, it's a funny story. <laughs> you got a prodigy here. I, I was watching the U.S. Open and it just kind of inspired me. I was like, yeah. man, I I'm love tennis. Do it, dude. So I um I looked online and I found a tournament at um at the time Owl Owl, Owl Creek. Creek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. And I can't remember what tournament it was, but I joined. I, I hadn't played tennis but like a couple weeks, and That's crazy. the lady was like, "What?" What level do you play? I was like, I have no, I don't even know what that means. Yeah. She's like, Are you a 3 0, 3 5, 4 0? I was like, I don't, oh, I don't really? know what the, I don't know what those numbers mean. Yeah. She's like, How long have you played tennis? I was like, A couple of weeks. Yeah. So she's like, Okay, we're going to put you in 3 0. So she put me in 3 0 and I, I won the tournament. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a champion in the Cheers. In, the, <laughs> in our presence. Champion. But then I felt kind of bad. I was like, Maybe I should have played a higher level. Or... Well, that's not bad, dude. I mean, for a 3 0, if yeah, you join yeah. a 3 0, because I mean, relative to now. Yeah, I was just, like, I mean, I was just, like, my serves was just 
Like, yeah. just get over. I don't. I'm pretty know. sure it's not that different from a three zero that's played for like twenty thousand years, right? right? So when you're an athlete, you, you're an athlete. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's cool, man. I'm surprised <laughs> that you were that old when you started. Not that that's old, but. Yeah. I mean, compared to us, we started when we were yeah. so young. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it. What sucks is now. I wish I had. Like, I, I yeah. love tennis. I'm, I'm 39 now. Yeah. I, I, God, yeah. if I had started when I was younger, yeah. I would have been like more technically correct. Yeah. This side is the old side. This is the <laughs> fountain of youth over here. The ancient people over there. No, That's but funny. I mean, I just think it's, it's to start older. I feel like is, is hard. I mean, yeah. it's very hard. You Although if you, if you haven't played ever, then maybe it's easier than. Well, I guess starting. I don't know that because when you're growing up, you have the, yeah. you, you learn like, the early. muscle memory and, yeah. and the mechanics. It's so. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's just difficult to learn a skill when you're older. At I, least for I me. 100% agree. When I you're think, at yeah. the low IQ level uh, over here, it's how I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? So it's just hard for me to pick up things like that. Well, when you're young, your brain is just a sponge. Yeah. Just, yeah. It doesn't matter what you throw at these young yeah. kids. Like, they pick it up so quick without yeah. even trying. When you're old, you're thinking about bills and work, and yeah. like, it's, it's so hard, hard to retain yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah, because I teach now, and I, old people try to come to me, like our age or young or older. Yeah. Like, nah, dude, I, I'll go to a kid that I can yeah. meld them. You're just here for exercise. At yeah, this point, yeah. Like, you're not learning anything. You're not picking up chicks with this lesson, dude. But at, least you, yeah. but at least you played sports growing up, because one of the things that I'm sure that you guys know, especially you, JR, is that, like, you can tell when people have hand-eye coordination, oh, yeah. or it's, like, yeah, no a chance. hopeless cause. Yeah. You're like, um, I, I tell okay. my students and their parents like, I'll find out in five minutes whether or not this is a good investment. Yeah. yeah. And if it's not, I'll tell you because I don't, I don't like taking people's money. It's crazy right. though because I've hit with like people's wives and stuff, for example, and I'm like, oh my God. Like they just <laughs> don't like, or people, anyone who never have played, they didn't play sports growing up. And then it's like, wow. I mean, it, just their yeah. hand-eye coordination is not there or their footwork or anything. I've never thought about that. Maybe like, because I played baseball forever. And I think yeah. I, I, arguably that might be one of the most hand-eye oh, coordination dude. related so sports fast, out there. Yeah. Um, so maybe that helps. Yeah. What would you play in baseball? What position? Uh, center field. I, I, I played all over the place, yeah. but I'd say my, I mainly played center field. Mm. I, love, I, I was fast. You I, had a gun then, huh? I yeah. love baseball. There's a lot of uh, free throws in that and um, a grand slam. Oh, there are grand slams. Yeah, good job. <laughs> just like in tennis, there are grand slams. I know that. <laughs> so let's talk about, just briefly, where are you coming from? Okay. For the viewers to know, Tommy used to live here in the area that we're not mentioning, but he used to live here, and we already did, didn't we? We're from the streets. Virginia we're Beach from the streets, streets y'all. <laughs> the streets. The VB streets. Um, but he he's gone away for a little bit so where are you coming from where are you visiting from i am visiting from the great city of napoli napoli italia oh, shit. he could have at <laughs> least brought us some pizza Heart or throat. some pasta <laughs> but this man at least he bought us alcohol yeah, that's right that's right the bruise First guest. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't be. It's, we can edit everything out. It's, it's like icebreaker real quick. We can edit everything out. It's always it's awkward to get the balls this thing. Yeah, yeah. It's awkward to get this thing started and then we choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. 